get into it, man. Let's get into the Draymond <laughs> Green, uh, Jordan Poole situation. I want to know what y'all think about it. Um, was it a sucker punch? Should Jordan Poole have been more ready? Should Draymond Green be punished? How are we feeling about this situation? Well, I'm going to start with you since you brought it up, man. Uh, I mean, it's like I, like I told y'all in the group chat. Um, I believe Draymond should be suspended. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, obviously, there's a lot of different ways to look at this. It's grown men, testosterone, you know, they're hooping. That's honestly part of playing ball. Like, you ever go play ball at any, any fucking gym or hoops in America, man? Like, that's kind of the vibe in almost every city, really. So I, I get that aspect of it. Uh, I get the trash talking of it. Uh, but the difference between that and what we do when we go play ball wherever is Draymond's getting paid big bread by an organization to not knock out his teammate or not throw, throw punches at his teammate. So uh, that, that, that aspect of it leads me to say that Draymond needs big fine, big suspensions, um, probably a little bit more so than what he got. If, if I'm Golden State, I'm not going for it. And for the simple fact that once you start really looking at it, Jordan Poole might be a little bit more valuable than Draymond to the, to the Golden State Warriors at this point in time and moving forward. So I, I, I think a president needed to be set. Um, and yeah, there's really no room for that in a quote unquote professional team, right? If you're a professional ball player, that's not how you should conduct yourself. Again, I know it happens. I know it'll probably happen again, but uh, you got to lay the hammer down on, on stuff like this. I, honestly, uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm interested to hear how our resident coach, T. Boogie, might handle a situation like this. <laughs> Me, personally, um, I'm from the school of thought that uh, some people need to be punched in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Not not shot, not stabbed, not, not beat to a pulp. Some, <laughs> some, some people, uh, all right, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm from the 80s, grew up in the 90s. I'm from an era where people learn firsthand, like George Poole just learned. A, a getting hit, man, a good punch will change your life, change your yeah. perspective. You know, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You speak a little, speak a little more proper. Uh, you, you respect the people you should respect. You, you're, you're humble in the setting you should be humble in. And, and I think that's what that was. Uh, uh, fights happen in sports daily, literally daily, right? Especially at practice, especially at practice. If you're going to punch somebody in the face, right? Typically, you want that in practice. You don't want that in front of the fans. You don't want that in front of the crowd, the kids, the the, the families in attendance. That was supposed to be – that tape should have never came out. Yeah. But uh, in, in, the, in the TMZ era, uh, you know, certain certain figures, certain teams, certain people don't have any privacy. And uh, Golden State's one of those uh, California hot-button TMZ items. So that tape came out. But uh, the, the biggest thing that stood out to me is I don't think it was a sucker punch. Um, you let a man walk all the way up on you. Um, you could have walked away. You could have ran away. You could have said, <laughs> "Hey, somebody get him." You could have. You could have acted crazy first. You could have walked towards him. You stood there acting like this guy wasn't going to touch you. He gets in your face. You escalated the physical touch. Now I know what people are saying. Like he shouldn't be in your personal space. Got you right. But what do you tell your kids? Somebody in your face, like you, you, you either tell the teacher or you get him out your face, right? You're either yeah. going to tell the teacher or you're going to hit him. He didn't either. He didn't hit him. He didn't call a coach. He didn't call the players. He didn't either. He pushed them back and he stood there with his hands down and he got punched. Notice how Steph was there. Yeah. Steph didn't run to his defense. Uh, if you look in the video, there's other players. No one ran to his defense. Uh, when, put it like this. If Draymond was talking to Steph like that or approaching Steph, Everybody would have ran over there to break it up. Before, before, before Draymond could have gotten his face, everybody would have got between them. Jordan Poole has to have been getting under everyone's skin because nobody was up in arms. We haven't heard any players come out and say, uh, any, any players on that team, no one came out and supported Jordan Poole. In the, in the era of <laughs> microphones, in the era of clout, in the era of internet, not one person has came out and supported Jordan Poole that was there. And maybe they just want to keep the locker room in the locker room, but Draymond's talking about it. I think, I, I think that's I think that's a thing, keeping the that's locker room in the locker room. Yeah. But I think you bring up a good point, though, T. It's like the reactions are going to tell you a lot, um, for sure. Yeah, Dr Draymond's talking about it. Um, and, I, and I think the Warriors are just going to try to get past it and, and move on. I, I'm of the opinion that Draymond needs to get traded because 
Uh, he chased KD out of town as well. Um, so you got two strikes. I'm not going to give you three. But um, this, this happens, man. Fights happen. Jordan punched Steve Kerr. Uh, uh, Bobby Portis broke someone's face in practice. Uh, fights happen in sports. Every offseason in football, we see team fights. We see we see fights. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the difference is, though, T, the, the biggest difference is, though. The, the difference is, Jordan you know, Poole, You back. saw it. The, no, no. The difference is you saw it, bro. We, bro and we, Steve Kerr, I didn't see Jordan punch Steve Kerr. I don't even know who Bobby Portis punched because they because I didn't see it. All I know is Bobby Portis punched somebody, and it came out who he punched because right. I didn't see it. it doesn't matter. Well, I, I get, that I get, visual changes everything, and not yeah. only does it change everything for Draymond, but it changes a whole lot for Jordan Poole in in a, in a game that is built on confidence, bro. I Jordan worry Poole, about a young player having to go through this. Especially Jordan Poole does. Did you just see Jordan Poole play? Went to the hoop, did a crossover. I saw. I saw that. That's preseason work. And I'm not. I'm, right, I'm, right, right. I'm not. I'm not betting on Jordan Poole. This this fucking up Jordan Poole's career. I'm not betting on that. But my point is that this, yo, I think it was rooted in jealousy of Drake from Draymond Green because Jordan Poole is now the it second most important asset to the Golden State Warriors at this very moment, bro. Is Steph yeah. Curry's the number one? And Jordan Poole is a second greatest asset on that team, top to bottom. If you're gonna tell me who's gonna yield the most in the trade today from the Golden State Warriors roster outside of Steph Curry, who is it? Jordan Poole or Clay Thompson? I was gonna say Clay. Only, it's only one of them, and and at this point, I lean Jordan Poole, bro, because he's younger and the season he's come, the potential mm. he's shown. I feel like he's a he's a and, I, and Draymond, I think, feels that. But I think Draymond feels Poole becoming a bigger asset than he is now. And I feel like that 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 that's a part of what because yo, there's clips of Draymond talking about how good Jordan Poole is and how he gets under people's skin, but it's only because it's a part of his game and we all kind of like that type of thing. Like there's clips of him talk, discussing this on his podcast. You feel me? So to be that guy that applauds this young player for being but for having that though that that sort of moxie and then allowing it to get under your skin when you're that guy that compliments him for that. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, if this was coming from a guy who was that quiet dude, but you know it's going to snap over some little shit, then this would make sense. But this is coming from Draymond Green. Like, this guy is always snapping. You would think he would understand his teammate snapping. You feel nope. me? And it's the not. fact that he didn't, to me, signals a little bit of, like, mm -hmm. a little bit of in-house drama that maybe is, is, a, is underlying still. You know what I mean? I don't know. No, bro. It, it, it's levels, right? It's levels that like that would have been the that would that that that's like uh PD crack coming to state property <laughs> and, and talking and talking crazy to everybody, right? You're mm -hmm. hot right now, but you don't exist without without us. You don't exist without Steph, Clay, Draymond. Like it's you still gotta respect these guys, right? It would be it's it's like when the players would if if you disrespect like like the, the greats that were above you. Like you, you can't come in and do that, bro. You can talk crazy, but there's still limits. There's still lines, and this young generation—I don't know how much you around these young young guys. Uh, their their line is way above here with guys that grew up punching you in your face. But but okay, but let's let's let's, let's throw this in there though. <laughs> Keep this in in context. Only one of them two out of Jordan Poole. And Draymond Green is receiving a Rockefeller chain. And the Rockefeller chain is the max contract, bro. Because no, both of them are not getting it with Golden no, State, bro. No, no, but listen. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Both of them are not getting it with Golden State. Golden State has to pick one of them dudes to get that max to, bro. And who you think they picking right now? <laughs> who you no, think? They got to pick them all. Who you think they picking, bro? No, no. Dr Draymond. Jordan Poole. <laughs> and no, Draymond already came out and said, "I'm I deserve a max contract." That's what I'm yeah, trying for next. next you, you think you think Draymond uh, is going, trying to punch his way to a max? No, that's not what I'm saying. Like, I'm they, saying the I, jealousy boiled over into a punch, bro. Because only one of them is getting that max. They're not they're not giving it to both of them. It's not really? logical, bro. It's not Where logical. You can't look like a max player. The more more time goes if, by. If, if Draymond Green thought he deserved a max, you don't start a fight at camp. If 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 other players thought it was jealousy, I I promise you they would step in. I promise you those other athletes, if they thought it was a petty, this Draymond's just upset. 
I promise you they would have broke it up, bro. Like, I, I, I don't even have to be there. I'm looking at Jordan Poole's body language. Even his body language, even in the video, is of you won't do nothing to me. Like, but do you but do you think that maybe everybody felt that same way Jordan Poole did too? Maybe right. they wasn't running to break it up because like it was kind of a shocking uh, punch. Jay Mog and everybody face, bro. Or you know what I'm saying? Maybe it like there's a lot of there's a lot of possibilities with that when you see just one clip. And no. like I just feel like yo, there's a chance, bro. I feel like there's a chance that when it, it's only one max contract, bro, and Draymond might be feeling like be looking at this dude like, bro, this dude's not more Look, important to this team than me. Either, 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 either way, either way, whatever the reasoning behind it was, the fact that the video came out is detrimental to Golden State. Like, this doesn't help Draymond get a max contract. This doesn't help Jordan Poole's career. It might not affect Jordan Poole's game directly. Like, he might be fine right now. But what happens when he has a bad game and the internet runs wild with memes or, you know what I'm saying, people start getting at him, just talking unnecessary trash like they do. This kind of thing will get brought up and kind of follows you in your career for better or for worse. I'm not saying it breaks Jordan Poole. I'm not saying he's not mentally tough enough to deal with this kind of thing. I'm just saying it's a it's a stain on my guy's career regardless. And really, it's a blemish on the Golden State's season to, to, to start. Go ahead, Scruff. Let me tap in on this one. First of all, as far as Jordan Poole is concerned, this is not going to end his career. This is only going to add fire to the fuel. He loves this shit. Like, I'm sure he's a little embarrassed, but I know he's going to come out he's going to continue to ball. Uh, what you say, Bryce, about, about the max contract thing, I think it's very valid. Because only one of them is going to get the max contract. It's probably going to be Jordan Poole at this point. I don't, I don't see Draymond getting the max. I see he wants to stay with Golden State. He's going to have to take a discount. But I think he might be able to get a max contract elsewhere. You know? L.A. is a potential. You know, I see him and LeBron doing the shimmy at the wedding. You know, they was looking real brotherly. You know what I'm saying? I could see Draymond getting a contract somewhere else. Uh, so I do see this as being the beginning of the end of Draymond's stay in Golden State. I think it's time for, for, for him to go. I'm going to say you have to find someone to fill in that role. But Jordan Poole is definitely the most important asset on that team moving forward. And to me, bro, that punch was dirty. Whatever the case may be, you're supposed to be a leader on the team, bro. You're setting a bad example, bro, in my opinion. Uh, second thing is for the organizational standpoint. I'm going to have to hold the organization accountable. This punch came out. It should have never came out the video. The video came out and changes everything. Now you kind of have to cut bait with Draymond at some point. Maybe not right away, but I don't think they're going to keep him. Uh, also, it's a bad look that they haven't come through with any type of punishment yet. They said he was away from the team for a couple of days, but they haven't inflicted any actual fines, any punishment, any suspensions. The ring ceremony is on the first night. I'm presuming if they were to suspend him, he probably missed the ring ceremony. Will or will he not be at the ring ceremony? We'll see. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be my it would be a nice little way to check, 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 check that motherfucker to shut the fuck up. <laughs> if, if you tell him not to come, that's when you let the organization know and you let the player know, hey, look, this is the organization standpoint on this, and you're not in accordance with that. You try to move on some big brother shit, like, oh nah, you gotta respect us, you gotta respect us. Nah, what you gotta respect is organization, motherfucker, because we don't want to cut the checks around here. So all that, all that, you know, oh uh, yeah, this is whatever you got. That's nonsense. He didn't earn that. I guess if you would say he earned that, maybe to some degree. But the checks are uh, rotating, brother. Oh. The new, the new checks ain't coming for Draymond, bro. He didn't earn the new checks, bro. Draymond, uh, but Jordan did. Yeah, this, this, uh, this is crazy to me, man. Like this punch. <laughs> This this punch to be such a non-issue, like all oh, this setting an example, yada yada. Gilbert Arenas came to the gym with guns. Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, but he wasn't employed after that, was he? He, he but but this, but this is what I'm saying, bro. This is well, this, he kind of was. Yeah, he was. This is this is part of this is part of uh, of being an athlete and competing at the top. <laughs> um, sometimes uh, competitive spirit, testosterone. Um, Sometimes you just don't like people. Like that spills over, and, and and the violence, unfortunately. Like these guys play physical sports. But as far as Draymond being a leader, Draymond is arguably the Udonis Haslam of of the Warriors. And I think he was acting in a Udonis Haslam role and making sure 
Jordan Poole, you know the pecking order. I don't care if you're better than Steph Curry. You're going to respect Steph Curry. I don't care if you're better than Clay because when they were your age, they were doing things that you're not doing. So I really think that was a cleaning of the house. I do think that was a leader. Wait, 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 wait. But that's not true, though. They weren't doing anything he's not doing. In fact, well, they, he's doing so, things that they weren't doing at his age. So. Bro, they also, they also weren't, they also weren't playing on a, a ready-made team to win, right? They they had to build something. Jordan Poole didn't have to build a thing. Jordan Poole, all sure. he had to do was come in there sure. and boogie. Okay, but like that's not Jordan Poole's problem, bro. <laughs> so, so, so like so like so like this, so so Draymond making that Jordan Poole's issue. Is where he's wrong, bro, right? in what you just described. If that's right, what right, right, right. It's, if it's that like this, is bro. what happened, if that's what the spirit was of the whole thing, nah, right. to me, if. that makes it look even worse on Draymond. Bro. That's a bad look. That's like this. That's like if you that's Steve even... Jobs, right, and you Apple, right, and you like, yo, me and Bryce was out here like, without the mud, man. We was in the garage and shit. He wasn't here in the garage with us. And on New Hire, it's like, bro, that's how you treat people with Apple, bro. I'm going to be here. <laughs> 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 this no, ain't the way, bro. I'm no. going to Silicon bruh. Valley. I'm going to Google. Bro, if you treat people with respect, bro. If, if if a new panelist came on this show and started talking crazy to Bryce, <laughs> like I'm bringing the fans out. I know you started this, but I'm bringing the fans out. I, I hear you talking. We don't want to hear your opinion tonight, Bryce. They're here for me. <laughs> You're not going to say. Ain't hey, nobody you. coming to see you, Otis. Yeah, <laughs> your person. You're going to take that personal. Right, that's yeah, why we don't have new panelists. But no, but, but hey, hey, you, you, you make, you make tea. You that, 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 that was a great, that was a great parallel. That was a great parallel, and and, I, and it's a, it is a good point. You know what I'm saying? But but I think that the 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 way the way it misses because that doesn't contribute to the show. Like you know what I'm saying? Like Jordan Poole's contrib contribution. They're there to try to win games, bro. You know what I'm saying? And Jordan Poole's cut. We're here to try to put on a good show. So if someone's on here doing that, it wouldn't really make for a good show. But Jordan Poole's contribution is to, to win games. So it's like, I don't I, know, man. I feel like, I, and I talk about this often on this show, I feel like you guys always undervalue a very important part of, uh, especially basketball. Like, remember, they're not necessarily friends, but they are teammates. They do have to spend an extended amount of time around each other. They don't have to like each other. But it does not work if they hate each other. And if, if I don't care how good Jordan Poole is, if you don't want to pass a nigga the ball, how does who, who does that help? Good point. All right, but do we know that that's what they were arguing over? We, like we that he wasn't we're passing we're the ball. That's, 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 what I, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. So it's like I agree with you, T, to the to the extent of if you know if Poole was disrespecting. Uh, Draymond, in this sense, Draymond's basically your elder. In this sense, he's been on the team. He's, you know, what I mean, built it brick by brick with the boys. So you can't just talk to him crazy. I agree with that, and that very well, very well may be why Steph and everybody let him let Jordan Poole get snuffed in the first place. But regardless, that's not necessarily team building. Uh, and you can say it is, we can spin it like it is because it happens often in sports. But the second that TMZ gets a hold of it and we see it and it becomes a topic on our show and other shows, it becomes a huge, massive problem. And it gets right to Bryce's point of, well, which one of these guys are you going to give a Rockefeller chain? And it's only going to be one of them. It's only <laughs> going to be one of them. And for, for better or for worse, like, like the way you're describing it, you're describing it from the 80s era when there wasn't TMZ, when there wasn't social media. This this is this is a problem for Draymond now. He he punched himself out of a max. Bro, this yeah, you know, he was talking about he was yeah. out here talking about bro. some yeah, you know, my mom seen it and his mom seen it because he looked like a bully. Bro, the trail freewell choked the coach. I, I understand this is not the team this is a TMZ era, right? But that's a closed practice. We are not used to seeing <laughs> I'll, I'll, even, I'll even put it like this, T. It's not even just that it's the social media video type aspect, news getting everywhere fast. We live in a soft generation. We live in a soft generation, bro. Uh, we talked about it a little bit earlier. Devontae Adams is, is about to get, um, I don't even know if it's a lawsuit or, or criminal charges or whatever the dude is doing, all because he pushed dude out the way walking through the tunnel. Oh, like the, the world we live in today can't see Jordan Poole get punched like that at practice and not treat Draymond Green like the biggest bully in the world. Devontae Adams was worse than Draymond. 
Devontae yeah. pushed somebody, told, uh, a guy just doing his job. A civilian. Now, the you guy, know who's worth the ball ball? Away. He didn't. He didn't. Hey. He didn't maliciously walk up to him. And Dr Draymond had every intent on knocking Pool out, bro. No, he did not. Devontae had no intent on that. Hey, no, Bobby not. Wagner was worse than both of them, bro. Because Bobby Ooh. Wagner gave a hit stick to a random civilian who was just trying to go. By. Well, you shouldn't be right running on the field. That's crazy. I, I've gone to a game and seen that. And that is absolutely insane to run on a football field. Bobby, Bobby we, we Wagner has no heart for the way he hit that man, bro. Bobby Wagner, Bobby Wagner lowered his shoulder on that man like he was trying to tackle Marshawn Lynch, bro. <laughs> bro. They didn't, they didn't zoom in on that man's fingers like they did to us. I'm sure they was, like. <laughs> they ain't, they ain't, they ain't give a damn on that concussion protocol. Bro, and that's a regular. He hit that man like that man was wearing pads. And that man had no pads. Bro. Nah, no bull, he did. That guy is a criminal when he hey, runs on, on the field. Yeah. Come on, T. Don't be Charleston White on me, T. <laughs> <laughs> that man is a criminal. The moment he touches that field, I'm calling 911. That's a fact, though. It's a fact, though. It, it's, yeah. Hey, not man. only is it breaking the law, it's got to be the dumbest law to break. Yeah, no more. Well, that 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 that's just wild, man. I, I just thought Bobby Wagner was a wild dude for that. But hey, good stuff tonight, fellas, man. We got to a, a good amount of sports. But as my guy Rome says, man, you stay for the culture. And uh, look like everybody, just about everybody I was watching that night stayed with us for the whole show. So shout out to you guys for being in it for the long haul, man. Um, y'all know where y'all can find us everywhere. It's at Good Ass Sports on all social media platforms. If you can't find us in any place that is a quote unquote social media platform, just try searching Gas Sports Network. That's the other way we can be found, man. It's either Good Ass Sports or it's Gas Sports Network everywhere. Uh, every Tuesday, man, we here at 9 30 for the pre show. If you're not uh, subscribed to the pre show yet, if you subscribe to a whole lot of OnlyFans pages, the pre show <laughs> might let you down a little bit. But the pre-show get pretty crazy, man. It don't nah, get all these fans crazy, all right? But it get crazy. It won't, it won't, so, uh, it won't yeah, let you down. <laughs> yeah, tap in with the pre-show, man. It's very, very cheap. It's cheaper than all them OnlyFans you're paying for. Uh, yeah. And if you missed the OnlyFans, the real OnlyFans conversation we had, you got to check out the pre-show. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, I think it was it got pretty interesting, man, for sure. <laughs> But, uh, hey, man, shout out to everybody that watched. Shout out to you guys for, for bringing the heat tonight, man. Y'all know how we end each and every episode, fellas. Sports for the culture. Sports, Sports for the culture. For the culture.